On today's episode of the North American Journeyman, since losing to Saprisa in the Supercopa, we've turned things around and gotten off to a pretty good start. And we made a signing of an 18-year-old Costa Rican left back who looks like he could be world class. All right, take you through the results. After we lost the game, we played two of the worst teams in the league, four to two. Salazar, the striker, missed a penalty in the fifth minute and then went ahead and scored a hat trick. And then we kind of closed the game out, but this injury happened around the 60th minute when I had made all five of my subs that I'm allowed to make. So we were down a man and they ended up grabbing another goal. So it was closer than it looked, 4-2 still, though, we won. We've started the Central American Cup, and we won our first two games. Today we're going to play the third game in our Group A, and that should see us qualified. I think we'll beat this team, Santa Tecla, from El Salvador. They don't look too good. But we beat Municipal from Guatemala, 3-1. Looked really good. Salazar's looking pretty good up top. He's taken the penalties. He scored this one. I did decide to make the goalkeeping switch. So the one who played here, Omar Rodriguez, who's out of contract, just on a month a month, the Colombian. We're probably just going to release him at some point. Keep him in the squad for now, just as a backup if we need him. But I'm playing the youngster. Dennis Solis. He hasn't played good. Any shots that he's faced, he's basically let in. I think he's only got like one save, maybe. Saves tipped. Yeah, one save tipped. One save parried. Yeah, he hasn't done too great, but he's still getting bedded in. We beat Perez Zeladon, who is not very good in the league. Toch is back from the Olympics. He's looking pretty good. And then we beat Plaza Amador in the Central American Cup. Second game. So it's looking pretty good. Top of our group. UPNFM, the radio station from Honduras. Looks like they're really the only contender in this group, but we play Santa Tecla. That's the second game. The first game we're going to play today is Herediano. Herediano, who's top of the group currently. Well, no, it's tied at the top. Or it was, but it looks like some teams have played some games. So Punta Arenas is up top, actually, with three wins. Herediano's undefeated. We're undefeated. Saprisa has dropped a game. They lost to Cartagines. But what you're all here for is to see the 18-year-old. So let me show you this guy. Because I just took a look at the national team and said, wait a second. He's not the best left back? Because I was looking at this left back, right? This Elian Quesada Thorn, who played for Arsenal for, well, played one game for Arsenal, was at Arsenal. I'm not sure if he was a youth player at the Arsenal Academy or not, but plays for Saprisa now. Scouting him up. So I, I pulled up the national team, and he's not the starting left back. This 18-year-old is. And his name is Richard Alexander Hall. He was playing for Carmelita in the second division in Costa Rica. Now, first things you'll notice, those physicals are nasty. Those are outright nasty. For an 18-year-old, 19 agility, 16 acceleration and pace, 16 stamina, 16 decision-making. His technical side of his game is probably the weakest, but still nothing that we really need worse than an 8. I wish his marking and tackling were a little bit better as a, as a defensive player. We're deciding to play him here. He could play wing easily, very easily. But with those physicals, he likes to go for a dribble too. He doesn't have any traits, but he just picks up the ball and just takes it and goes. But look at that current ability, potential ability. If we look at the league preview, key play he's listed as the top key player in the league. 
so I think we might have a worldie on our hands here with old Richard Hall. The Rich Hall, the Hall of Riches. I don't like that he's inconsistent. I don't mind the competitive streak, to be honest. Pick up a couple of reds, that's okay. We're pretty stacked depth-wise. But we got two games today, so we're going to jump in. There's a couple other players that I'm looking at. Two, I showed you the other left back from Saprisa. And then there's another winger from Saprisa that I'm looking at and a striker from Arediano. I'll show you him now since we're playing them next. His name is Jorge Torres. So we'd probably have to spend out, this is his release clause, 950k. A couple issues with him as well, the consistency bothers me. Realist, I guess, is an okay personality. But he's got 11 caps for Costa Rica with four goals. I wish his dribbling was just a little bit better. I might play him over here. But he's fast. And we're going to get a look at him today. See if that's the kind of guy we should go for. We've also changed the system. We're playing a number 10 now. I didn't like our defensive midfielders. And Tosh is back in, so I want to play the best players that we have available in the midfield. And Yara, the 16-year-old, says he's better at D-mid, prefers D-mid, but he's definitely more of a center mid, deep-lying playmaker, so get him working on that. This is the backup to Neves. But other than that, we've looked pretty good. Um, let's see, we've got one little issue. Not playing Cruz. Phil Lobos, we're going to probably play this one. No, he's going to come in for this youngster called her own. Center back, he looks pretty decent. So Nigo doesn't sit on the bench. Adju is the backup. But Perez Villalobos, who is my... Sent this guy out on loan. There's one more little change. Oh, Martinez is the starter on the right. Right back position. He was... Um, he couldn't play in the last game in the Central American Cup. But today, it's against Herediano, who's off to a good start. Thomas Amang, that's one of their two strikers. Well, he's upset about two things. Nervous about this battle and apprehensive because someone else is like, hit the weight room, son. There's no point being nervous about someone being stronger than you. I mean, it's football. Right? You just roll around on the ground, pretend you got injured. Okay, so it looks like, yep, they're playing Torres up top, so we're keeping an eye on him because we might just splash the cash for him. We got the money to spend if we want to. I'm hesitant to do it, but we just send the boys out and see what we can do. We're away today in Herediano's ground. Punta Arenas up at the top of the table. Saprisa dropping their game. That's good stuff. But this is definitely the game of the week here. I mean, we didn't see any highlights the last time I had you guys here watching the Saprisa game. So hopefully we get some today. We haven't really played anybody up to Saprisa standard until this one, so let's see where it goes. Here we go, Suarez. He's playing the number 10 spot, Montenegro. It's the inside forward on the left, he's done pretty well. Toch. Martinez, the really good right back. Nice little ball into Mario, finds Salazar. And it looks like he's on side. And that's his 50th goal of his career. I think he even scored this with his right foot. Nice little slip-in ball. Mario's been okay. He's been getting better with every game, Mario. Not really a goal scorer, but he gets nice little low crosses in. By the way, I meant to change that permanently to low crosses. As you saw, a low cross goal. I've decided to make that change. I made it in-game. I forgot to make it. In our overall tactic, but we got the 1 0 lead away against Arediano. Here's your first look at Toch, the American. He's driving in, takes a shot. I don't mind it. Look, 
this is a big old wide field we're playing on here. We're not in Honduras anymore, that's for sure. Cross to Montenegro, falls to Suarez, back to Neves. He likes to take hits from out here. Here's Hall. That's got to be a penalty, and it is. Went right through the back of Toch. Salazar should be the penalty taker. Unless it's Hall. No, it's Salazar. He is one for two. One for three. Dang. Well, he scored the early goal. So he's on a 7.0 now. Getting the feeling like Salazar has a bit of a ceiling. I don't think he's going to be our long-term solution, but as of right now, he's outplaying Torres. And he's taking corners for us. Look at that header from Fernando Alvarez. The center back, who's been a beast. I'm thinking about offloading him. Because he's taken up an international player slot. He's got a couple things about his game that I don't like, but that is his second goal from a set piece this season. And we are looking pretty good. It's tough. With five international slots, you want to make sure you get those ones just right. And we're just, we're wasting one on the goalkeeper. And I'm just waiting to pull the trigger on somebody. I thought about Trindotti. And Salazar has an attempt there, but looks like he was offside. Trindotti, the, the winger that I had at TLH Rangers, who was on the next-gen list. But he just wants a boatload of money. Like $400,000 a year. Which is what that left-back Quesada Thorn wants. Wage-wise. And I feel like we can, we can do better to keep the wage bill a little bit lower. Because we got $9 million in the bank, but I'd like to make this club... Like, rich, rich. Because I still haven't received any transfer offers. And I don't know how likely it is that we'd actually get good ones. Because most big clubs in the world aren't scouting Costa Rica. Slips Salazar in, he's offside again. That was a good build-up play, though. That was a nice little pass. Salazar's trying to stay on side here. Who was it? Suarez? He's trying to hang on, just couldn't quite do it. But if there's any big clubs out there that want some uh, Costa Rican scouting knowledge, I know somebody who travels to Costa Rica and watches football games and could tell you who good players are. So if anybody's out there looking for a scout, I don't think scouts get paid too well, do they? What a job, though. Travel to watch soccer and take notes. and Right, Contreras is coming in. Montenegro's on a yellow. Martinez hasn't really been that good. Lopez can keep coming in for fitness. And... um, Yeah, that's probably fine for now. I mean, we are dominant. We're actually going to go positive for the rest of this game. And we're going to make a couple more changes. Toch is a bit tired. We'll do this. Swap Neves over. Bring Yara in. Mora needs more game time. He's never been fully fit because he's always picking up little nagging injuries. So at least looks like he's made a couple saves in goal, so that's good. Their striker hasn't showed me anything yet, Torres. We played this such a high press, maintain possession system that that's another penalty, I think. And it is. What can Salazar do? He's got a 33% conversion rate currently. And he's one for four this season. Ouch. 
Ouch. Missing two penalties in one game. All right, Gonzalez, we're actually going to do this. Gonzalez is a good backup, number 10. That's what he looks like. Physicals are a little bit dodgy. His finishing isn't very good, but Suarez actually likes playing up top. Both finishing is a nine, but whatever, it's fine. Go make an impact. Get Salazar out of there. Yeah, Sal there's, there's things about Salazar. Mora... Thought he could have taken a hit there. Suarez, what can Hall do? I'd like to see him be a little bit more aggressive there. I mean, the XG is probably a little inflated since we had two penalties, but... We'll let him fight through. I'm not going to take him off penalty duties. We'll take a look at who's actually good at penalties, though. Maybe there's somebody else who's just as good. Because I don't like inflating the statistics of my... Their goalkeeper's in no man's land. Can we do something with it? Crossed in. Penuelas is there, the center back. Hall. Composed on the ball. Contreras is through. Contreras finishes it off. 3-0. We dominated Herediano. We look pretty good. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I don't have like having strikers that have inflated goal statistics from being the penalty taker. Unless it's somebody that I absolutely just adore and I want them to score like 40 or 50 goals in a season. Hall pulls his groin. Shoot. Go ahead and just make it through the end of the game here. Solis for a shutout. I don't. I think he's got maybe one so far this season. In the four games he's played, it'd be nice to get one here. There's Torres though, and that's that's got to be better from Solis. All right, Torres is making himself known though. Is he left footed? Yeah, we'll just take him off. Might as well. We're up two goals. They're not going to score two in twenty seconds. What? What? What is this guy doing? Thought it was Hall running back on, keeping him on side, but it was it was the the physio, it was the sports scientist of the team. Just yeah, I saw I thought I saw it was going in. Don't worry. Interesting. Are we gonna score another one for our troubles? We're not gonna let them score another one, are we? Come on, boys. We got nobody on this left back position here. We're trying to close this thing out. Contreras takes a nice little dribble, dribble crosses in. Neves, Yaro's going to lose it there. Torres, don't do it to us. Don't do it to us. Torres again. Torres. Um. All right, we might buy Torres. I mean, it doesn't help that we're playing three defenders. Please end the game. All right, so interesting finish there to the game, but we do get the win in the end. Yeah, it was good. I'm not going to mention it. Yes, yeah, Solis. He needs to get a bit better. We just need to keep praising the boys that do well because they still don't really like me very much. Good job from you, Federico. Nice job. You needed a break. This guy really doesn't like me. You did well. He stayed happy, though, so I'll take that. Alvarez, nice. Really well. Really well done. Cool. So, up to the top of the table. Things are going well. Defensively, we're a little bit uh, weird in the back. The injury didn't help. How's Hall? Five to eight days. Pulled groin. Not too bad. He might miss the next game. But we'll be back for that. It is in four days against Santa Tecla in the Central American group. Let's see if we can get qualified for the quarterfinal. We'll be back in moments. All right. Santa Tecla, El Salvador. We can seal our fates today. Qualify for the quarterfinals 
of the Central American Cup. Hall is still... Yeah, we're not going to play him. We'll actually just take him off. We made a couple changes. There's a couple guys we're scouting. Arrediano actually has a 17-year-old left back who looks pretty good as well. Yeah, I took Montenegro out. I think we'll, we'll handle this tie no problem, so I'm not too concerned. There's so many games. There's like a game every couple days, so... We need to rotate. We need a bigger squad. I probably need to start splashing the cash on some of these players. But, I'm still trying to decide who I want to keep around. And the players in Costa Rica are not cheap. I mean, if I wanted to just waste all of our money, I could go out and buy pretty much all of the good youngsters in Costa Rica, but I want to make sure that they're actually, you know, proven to be pretty decent. So Santa Tecla has a chance to qualify. Looks like, I mean, nobody's really looking too good other than us in our group. We look at the other groups. Montagua, Municipal Grecia is a, another Costa Rican team. That isn't too good, I don't think. Santa Tecla coming out here. This is at home, but we don't have many fans watching this game. Limas takes a shot, so Lise just watches it. And it hits his left post. Little breakout counterplay from Santa Tecla there. It looks like they're playing the long ball. Villalobos to Salazar. What can he do? He's kind of on his own here. Takes the shot. Didn't ever really look like scoring to me, but I don't mind the effort. God, we just dominate possession. Short passing, high press. My defensive line is only on standard, though, so I think we do go positive here. And encourage the boys. Attacking corner. Okay. I don't know if the goalkeeper just fell over, or... Sure, exactly what happened there. Um, yeah, Municipal Grecia, Comunicaciones is in this group. Montagua definitely looks like the best team. You got some Saprisa action. And Arediano as well. Probably all going to qualify for the quarterfinals. Contreras takes the shot. Ooh, I thought he was going to sneak that one in there. Contreras hasn't played too good. I've been playing him as that inside forward. No, he's more of a striker. He's as a backup option, but... He just hasn't really been too good. Keep going. We can do this. Keep going. Keep going. You're playing like crap, Salazar. Here we go, on the corner. Their goalkeeper just looks lost on these. Toch takes a shot. It deflects off of somebody. Toch gets the credit for it, though. Weird how that one bounced in, but they all count, right? What happened here, exactly? Defensive header away. Toch it bounces off of Pinuelas. Should have been Pinuelas' goal, I think. Reveal Lobos, maybe? But Toch gets credit for it. It's fine by me. Inflate his rating. Yeah, press that guy. I don't know who the top club is in El Salvador. It's not Santa Tecla, though. I don't believe. I never really looked at that league as an as a possibility because it's pretty well low rated. But it's all about the Costa Rica these days. Here we go. We're just we're just working it in. Beautiful pass to Suarez. He just shoots that. 
like him to maybe take touch into the box, maybe a little bit closer. Because we do have a work the ball in the box. But we like to take shots from the edge of the area for some reason. I guess that is technically in the box, but... I should probably make some subs. We do pick up a lot of yellows in this competition. That might actually come back to hurt us a little bit. We're going to do this. Even though Salazar is very motivated, we never play Zuniga. This guy needs some game time. And make sure I don't miss anything. Who else? Gonzalez can come in for Suarez. Eh, let's take Toch off. And drop Suarez back. Rotation. Rotation, rotation, rotation is key. Martinez isn't looking too good either. He's complacent. Take him out for Yael Lopez. And you know what? Penuelas for the youngster Calderon. I'm, I'm making subs like we're up 3-0. But I think we're well in control. They have one shot. It hit the post, but still. Let's see if we can snag a look at the groups. Saprice is probably well through. They're not going to... Oh, we get a highlight right as I'm looking. I think they're playing in the cup right now. The Costa Rican cup. Mora, Neves, a little pass to Suarez, takes a shot. That's 2-0. His first goal of the season, Aaron Suarez. Nice, well-worked goal, and we are easily qualified. Saprice is probably going to qualify, and already oh, I was actually kind of struggling. They're playing today? They are, and they're winning. I think that's only their second game, though. They have Olympia and Alianza from... They El Salvador's best team? They might be. Alright, let's see what we can do defensively here. Or in goal for Solis. Yeah, as he's basically like not having a goalkeeper currently. I'm still gonna stick with him. I trust him. Trust in the Solis. He's 20. It's not like I'm playing a 16-year-old goalkeeper, but he hasn't looked too good. He looks. He just looks lost. He's like, what? Huh? I didn't see it coming. He's got no holes in his game. He just doesn't have any like outstanding attributes. I think we can make one more sub. I'll just try and close up shop here a little bit. Let's see. We can get rid of this. Keep the press on, though. Yeah, we got one more sub. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have brought in a center back. Neves out for the nervous 16-year-old. I'm really, I'm really just doing all the right moves today. These are things you shouldn't be doing. But I'm just that confident in the team right now. We just look that good. Let's say that with it. 90th minute highlight, Garcia bursting through the lines, takes a shot solely. He just goes one finger, flicks it over the bar. He never looked bothered. They're going more attacking. Of course they are. Header up. Whew. Free kick. Okay, I thought that was a penalty. All right. Let's actually close this thing out now. I'm, I'm getting real tired of this. I think a draw even does it, but still. I'd like to keep the positive momentum going. Good header from Calderon, but they're on the attack still. Calderon again. Flores, okay, ends up at our feet, though. Here we go. Good little drill from Suarez here. Nice. Back to Mora, who has done nothing all season. It's the backup right winger. Crosses in. Contreras header. It's over the bar. Close this thing out. Let's go. No, leave it. That's fine. Just take the counter press off. Man, they're really pushing for it. Good positioning from Perez. Let's 
So Lee's on a 6.6. .6. Suarez Contreras plays it all the way back. Yara, nice ball. Suarez can play anything? Nope. Thought he could have played in Contreras over the top there. We're just hanging on to it. Just waiting for that turnover. Good ball though. Just Gonzalez hangs on to it. Zuniga, Yara? Not really a goal scorer. Suarez though, nice, nice effort there. Total Mazzola positioning there. The square ball right at the top of the box for the shot. We hang on for the win. Not super convincing in the end. Good job, even though we weren't at our best. Anybody that can feel Lobos. You did well. Neves, he just, that's what I'm talking about. And Suarez, 7.5, you did well. Good, at least he stays green now when I talk to him. Before he was like 7.8 rating, and then I said, nice job, and he went switched off. That's never a good sign. Um, yeah, here's the cup games that happened. It's There's no competition to look at, though. It does actually have a profile. But it has no name. Database issues. Yeah, it's a cup. See all the trophies? Just Costa Rica. Anyways, we, we qualify for the knockouts. 10k prize money for the win. That's nothing. Good job, Neves. Good passing. We're on a tear. Six unbeaten. Only one shutout, though. We got to sort our defense out in our goalkeeper situation, but we'll probably come back for the quarterfinal. It might happen around the Saprisa game, so we might get a triple header. Either the Saprisa game or the quarterfinal for the Central American Cup. This one will be back. But thanks for watching. Thanks for all the likes and the comments. I appreciate you guys. Catch me next time on the North American Journeyman. We'll see you later. Adios.